Ludwig. And I'm Leonie Fink. And for this week's SHS Turtle Axis, we'll be hosting here at the Knot Circle in Live Oak, also known as the Roundabout. So let's go to our first segment, the Bulldog Minute with Tyler Hedden. The athletic director position is still vacant. Miss Lamb says that incoming principal Ted Rounds will have input on the decision. The baseball team beat Bradford 9-4 to Tuesday night. They are now 9-3 on the season. Congratulations to our track team on an excellent performance at Tuesday's Baldwin Open. They will be competing at the Jasper Invitational this Saturday. Congratulations to our softball team on a second place finish at the Santa Fe Invitational. Tennis team is having senior day this Monday when they play Columbia at 3.30. Come out and support them. Thanks, Tyler. Let's go to In the Know with Greg. The fashion show was a very smashing hit. Both guys and girls were dressed uniquely in tuxedos and dresses. Bell's Formal supplied the tuxedos, and Leslie's Bridal supplied the dresses. Please enjoy. Just recently, our ROTC had their 30th annual area manager inspection. Commander Tony Allman, a Navy SEAL, was our guest inspector. The unarmed exhibition drill team is led by platoon leader cadet Chief Petty Officer Diego Encinos. The armed exhibition drill team is led by platoon leader Cadet Lieutenant Commander Kiel Snyder and his squad leaders are Cadets Lieutenant Spray, Petty Officer Alex Bennett, and Lieutenant Junior Grade Jonathan Warner. Oh, and by the way, that rifle that is being spun around weighs 13 pounds. The NJROTC unit was applied for in April 1971 by retired Master Chief Edward Smith of Live Oak and was started in April 1972. It was the 196th unit in the country at that time. Swanee was the first unit in the nation to allow females, and about 30 minutes after your approval came through from the Navy, 30 females were assigned to NJROTC. Also, in 2003, Swanee was awarded the Distinguished Unit Award, and in 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2009 was awarded the Unit Achievement Award. Based upon Commander Almond's inspections, a number of cadets have been authorized with the Exemplary Personal Appearance Award. Congratulations to these cadets. That's all we have for you, Swanee High. Tune in next week. Now let's hop into our next segment, the public service announcement with Brenna. What's up guys, I'm Garrett Rowe, here with Autumn Denmark. Um, she plays first here at Swanee High School in the Poetry Out Loud contest, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about it. So I understand that you went to Tallahassee for state competition, 
Poetry Out Loud. How did that go? Well, there was three rounds, and I was out on the first round, but um, there was a lot of people there, and they were a whole lot older than me and more experienced, so I guess you could say that they were just better than me. Not that I wasn't bad, or I was bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was pretty exciting, I guess you could say. So next time, if you compete again, um, what do you think you could do to be more prepared? Practice a whole lot more. Right. Every day, nonstop, in front of as many people as I can. All right. Um, at State, what poems did you read? I read a hate poem, thoughtless cruelty, and the snowman. Um, why? Why did you choose those poems? Um, partly because I thought that they were different from what other people might choose to do, and partly just because each one of them said something in it that I kind of liked for each one of them. Right, and the, the people at State generally had the same type of poems that you had? They had my first one, my hate poem. Uh, there were three girls that did the same one as me, but my other two, nobody had those. Right. So um, I was like, dang it. So do you think you're going to compete again next year in the Poetry Out Loud contest? I don't know. Maybe. If I do, I'll just have to work a whole lot harder right. to at least get into the second round. All right, well, I appreciate your time. That's it for this week's show. Tune in next week for more SHS Total Access.